Well, I know you're thinking, why should I be showing you normal uh, appendix because this is called pathology course. Oh, well, let's explain why. First of all, this isn't really normal. Second of all, even if it was, it's probably more important to show this than abnormal stuff because in every case of abnormal anatomic changes, we always have to put our minds back to the feeling of normal before we can branch off in the various directions of abnormality. For example, if you were to examine this entire muscular layer of the appendix and you could see that there were no neutrophils in there, you knew that if you compared that to an appendix which did have neutrophils in here, that would be acute appendicitis. A lot of people think that appendicitis is inflammation due to any reason or any part. Well, that's not really true because classically, in order for an appendix to be acutely inflamed, you should have neutrophils in the muscularis. But I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, well, that's only one phase of an infection. What about the phase in which you just have dilatation of blood vessels? That's a very early phase of acute inflammation, isn't it? Well, yes, it is. And in this appendix here, you could see that in the serosa, the blood vessels are quite uh, prominent. So all that means is that there is hyperemia in the serosa due to any cause. And perhaps if it was primarily a case in which the serosa was hyperemic, maybe there would be an external cause, like for example, a peritonitis or something from the outside causing irritation to the serosa. If on the other hand, the uh, mucosa and submucosa was hyperemic, perhaps that cause would be coming from the lumen of the organ rather than from outside of the organ. Well, I guess we should remember that as a very important factor of normal. We could call this, the, the, uh, the people who made this slide called it normal with congestion, and that's true. But I think you might also remember that the last time we saw this slide, besides the fact that we carefully examined it and saw no neutrophils, uh, we did not call it normal with congestion. We zipped right into the lumen over there and we looked at this little uh, non-human type thing and we called it a pinworm. Uh, and the reason why this may be called normal now is because even there's a though there's a pinworm in the lumen, it's not causing any primary mucosal or mural inflammatory changes. <clears throat> so once again, let's just kind of remember that I cannot overemphasize how important it is to understand the various uh, facets of normal histology, because until we have like a really solid understanding for normal histology in all aspects, uh, backwards, forwards, upside down, poor stains, crappy stains. Uh, you could never really have a, a good a feel for what the possible anatomic disease patterns would be. And how many uh, diseases are anatomic? They all are. Thank you very much.